So I sold this on eBay, it's going to Australia and we're gonna ship it using our mobile phone. How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video, it's going to be a technical problem solved regarding the eBay app and people that are working off of their mobile phone, either running a business, a hobby, or whatever where you're selling something on eBay, you gotta ship internationally and you wanna do it off your mobile phone. We're gonna go over two solutions, one of which will save you a little bit of money over the other ones most of the time, but you really could do either of them. So with that being said, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up, and if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing, and let's get into the phone and get this package on its way to Australia. Here we are on the mobile phone. I'm going to open up my eBay app. Right here where it says page ship now, that's where you're going to click. So you're gonna to wanna to go into your orders. Here we have a pair of boots that sold that are going to Australia. I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna give me some personal information that I'm gonna to have to blur out. But if you look right here, it just says leave feedback. Mark is not paid, Mark is shipped. Contact buyer, relist this item, sell somewhere, or cancel order. There's no option to ship the item, which normally if it's a, a domestic order, if somebody bought it within the United States or within your country, that is where it says to create shipping label and you can workflow through that way and purchase your shipping. However, that's not the case here. So way number one to fix this is we're gonna have to go out of the app. You're going to want to open a browser and go to ebay.com. Now you're gonna go to three dots at the top if you're on Android or the capital A, little a in the top left if you're on Apple and you're going to request the desktop site. Now we have access to how eBay looks like on a computer. Our phones are essentially small computers. We just have a smaller display that we have to pinch and zoom in order to navigate. So I'm going to navigate like I would for any eBay order on desktop. I'm gonna to go to my notification there and where it says page ship now, I'm going to click on that order. That's going to open up this page, which everything's really, really small, but you just have to pinch zoom in order to see, and you're really just gonna be working on stuff that's down here. I'm gonna do a custom size. My package weighs exactly four pounds and it's 12 by 12 by four. And then eBay International Standard Delivery is $54. I'm not gonna be using flat rate envelope, flat rate padded, or legal. I'm not gonna be using first class. And these other ones are more expensive as well, so we're not gonna be using any of those. And then down here at the customs form, you would just fill out the weight of the package. I have to correct it because it didn't auto-populate. It's got the value, it's merchandise. You really don't have to type in some of this other stuff. You would check this box and you would hit purchase and print label and that will create your four by six or your eight and a half by 11 label depending on your settings. But I'm not gonna buy it through eBay because there is a way to get cheaper shipping and that's what we're gonna get into right now. Uh, go to your browser, you're gonna type in pirateship.com and if you don't already have an account you will have to make an account if you have an account already you've probably already seen some savings with this service but you need to log in and link your ebay account if you haven't already done that so the pirate ship website is accessible through a phone and it actually is pretty mobile friendly although it is on a website. So I have no problem accessing this from my mobile phone. I'm gonna go up here to import from integrations and this is where it's going to sync orders from eBay and from Etsy. I'm going to hit get rates. So mine is actually in a bag and the bag is 12 by 12. It weighs four pounds, zero ounces. And then I have to go down and fill out the customs form it's a pair of boots. There's one pair. They sold for like $65 and they weigh four pounds. So I'm gonna hit get rates. The pirate ship has this simple export rate for whatever reason beats eBay rate if the item is four pounds or under. It's gonna take one to three-ish weeks to get there. 
I forget how much insurance it includes. I think it's $100, but please don't quote me on that. I am not a expert when it comes to uh, pre-purchased insurance. Uh, that's something I actually need to study a little bit more. This is super important. In order to get the pirate ship simple export rate, you have to open a chat bubble down here. You'll have to send them a message and you have to ask them to activate a simple export rate on your account. Otherwise, you won't see it. I don't know why they make you ask them, but maybe they're using that as a tracking metric or something within their own analytics to see how many users actually use it. I, I really don't know. Okay, I'm gonna hit buy label. Then I'm gonna go up here to print label. I'm on the phone, so it does not allow inline PDF. So I'm gonna hit download PDF. There's my label. I'm gonna do three dots at the top, hit print pick my printer, and send my label to my printer. Just like that, we have our label printed internationally from a mobile phone. Although the eBay app can't do it, we've found other ways to work around it and still get these customers their packages. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about the technical solution, put them in the comments section. And if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.